So I thought I'd just show you a few things that I have finished up before taking the fuselage up to the Statesville Airport. It was important that I wanted to get the rigging for the elevators and the rudder. I wanted to do that here. I've got all the tools here. If I need to adjust a cable, cut a cable. If I need to adjust a, uh, or switch out a turnbuckle or just anything like that, I can do that all here. The other part of this was uh, I really was not going to be able to establish my push rod for the pitch on the AP servo until I had the elevators rigged so I would know exactly how far to set my clocking on that AP or autopilot servo. So let's take a look at some of those things. So we're gonna get down here kind of close and look at these connections. Uh, as you can see, we've got a cable with a turnbuckle connected to a bell crank and that's for our pitch axis controlled by the control stick assembly. The control stick assembly is coupled with these rod ends to the bell crank and then beside the turnbuckle for the elevator is the AP servo push rod this here I've got two rod ends on that that's why I was saying I needed to get the tension right for the elevator before I could set the push rod length on that AP servo so these turnbuckles are the clip lock type of turnbuckles and I don't know if you can see but there's a small groove that's in the threaded part of this uh, shaft here on this thread end and a little small clip slides in there and those clips look like this and it's just much easier to maintain make adjustments that sort of thing with these clip locks because they'll slide in and out but when they're in place they're set they kind of they kind of snap in and lock right through this tensioning hole here much easier than using the turnbuckles with the safety wire where you're actually braiding that wire up and down through here um, and it just if you ever needed to make an adjustment it's a big deal to unbraid all of that safety wire So the gull wing doors are finally and permanently installed. I've got gas struts on both the front and the rear, a smaller one up front just to keep that door stable um, as it's getting, especially when I'm sitting on the ramp and I want the door open for run up and that sort of thing. It, it just won't, it keeps that front of that door stabilized. Door shuts pretty easily. The only problem I'm having so far is this acrylic really likes to crack and I thought I did everything I could to prevent that cracking. Um, I used the acrylic type drill bits, enlarged the holes substantially so that the rivets would not touch the holes themselves, but I am getting a lot of cracks where the rivets, and I'm guessing, I, the, I'm guessing that's because the rivet was squeezed too hard. I'm trying to get in front of the cracks where I see a crack, I'll drill it. Um, so far I think I can salvage this door if it doesn't crack any further than this but maybe I'll have to replace that uh, total acrylic I hope not but it, anyway it's just something I'm gonna have to keep an eye on let's take a look at the tail section here while I've got that temporarily installed I just did the uh, uh, left side pilot side uh, horizontal stabilizer and elevator if you look inside you can see there's the bell crank for the uh, elevator and I've had I got all the rigging established and I've had all of this connected um, it's now disconnected for the trip but uh, tensioning and everything's in really good shape also wanted to make sure I got my hardware correct so when I finally do the the permanent installation I've got everything identified what bolt needs to go where when we do the final assembly to the tail section We'll use these flying wires from Steen Aero Lab. These are specially made just for the Bearhawk, and the uppers are going to be a streamline 
flying wire and the lowers will be the round type of flying wire for rocks and debris and that sort of thing and then finally here's the horizontal stabilizer strut has a clevis on this end and the clevis attaches to the bow tie that's welded to the frame I had to enlarge that hole to one quarter inch so it would match the clevis so the flying wires will be established onto the outer hinges on the elevator and we'll be using these uh, tabs to really get a secure connection probably not this one it'll probably be this one so that'll be top and bottom there'll be one here on top and then there'll be one here on the bottom on this connection here fine wire will come from the top of the rudder post to this outer hinge and then the same on the bottom there's actually a bow tie down there with a quarter inch hole that goes to the bottom of the rudder hinge here and as you can see my rudder is installed I did a permanent installation on that I think I'll be okay for the trip to the airport everything's been tensioned everything's working really well there okay that's just a quick video of uh, what's going on here today we're getting ready to take the bear hawk up to the airport and there's the trailer the chariot so here we go say goodbye garage two years three months and ten days <laughs>